Clearly, the health benefits of playing sport are unquestionable, but particularly with children being more susceptible to concussion, should parents be worried? They should be confident in the knowledge that, that what we're doing now is only going to put their kids and their children in a far better position than I ever was or any of the other players have been prior to this date. Um, and it just means that, you know, if concussion happens, the players are removed from the field and, and they're, they're cared for in the best possible way. And we have the best understanding of, of what happens going forward. You know, for me, that's, that's the key. It's not about stopping kids or scaring anyone. It's about the players and the parents having the knowledge that their children are in the best capable hands because we understand this better. Due diligence done by the clubs now is extraordinary. Can you eradicate it? No. Does that mean you stop playing rugby? Never. I have had the most amazing life through sport. Nelson Mandela said I had the power to change the world and it's the power to change your life in every way. And I would think every other sports person that has been involved in those sports that are a little bit more dangerous and a little bit more risky, um, they would say the same. So um, if your child wants to play sport, it's a lot better than working for a living. I've been looking at concussion in sport for nearly two years now. Others have for much longer, and I sympathise with people who aren't sure what to believe. There are even calls to ditch the term concussion, instead using brain injury. So how confident can the public be in their knowledge of the injury when we can't even agree on the name? Sports governing bodies have all taken steps to educate players, the public, and introduce safeguards, some more so than others, but it could be better still. Getting the if in doubt, sit them out message to children, parents and amateur athletes is vital, whether that's via government, like in Scotland, or built into the school curriculum. The advice from several governing bodies for children who suffer brain injury needs to quite frankly be much better. At the other end, professional sport should set an example, and that could mean fines or sanctions for poor concussion management. Long term, we'd be naive to think repetitive blows to the head don't contribute to problems in later life for certain people, but right now it's hard to tell for sure who those people might be and how dangerous sports could be. The results of the tests I took showed no signs of any problems with my brain at the moment, but getting meaningful results from large studies will take decades. And to confuse us even more, even the experts argue about what kind of research is best. Importantly, we have to remember the positives of sport. Yes, it brings a dream career to a lucky few, but for most of us, it simply gives joy, health, drama, and excitement. Urging utmost safety shouldn't be confused with scaremongering.